Welcome back to Issues of Faith. I'm talking with Dr. Ming Wang, talking about the conflict between science and faith, science and religion, and Dr. Ming Wang's journey from being an atheist to a Christian. And one of those conflicts involves modern technology and, and then Christian morals. And, and the use of fetal tissue has, has become a big point in that debate. What, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, the conflict between faith and science is one of the major uh, issues of our society today. With the development of science and technology, we can ever treat a more and more severe and uh, more aging human condition, such as macular degeneration, Alzheimer's disease, and dementia, and Parkinson's. But the treatment for these aging conditions, we have shown in medicine that need to use young tissue, such as fetal tissue. And that's where the conflict is. Should we do fetal tissue research or not? If we say yes to treat aging diseases, how can we justify hurting a baby alive? If we don't treat, uh, don't use fetal tissue, how can we justify watching grandma losing sight, um, become blind, suffering from aging conditions, in this case macular degeneration, for which the only treatment has to come from use of young tissue? Is there tissue. a way to do it without hurting a young live baby? I mean, yeah. that sounds unacceptable. Yeah. Is there a way? Is there a way to do it? That, that would answer the concerns on both sides. And um, uh, I brought a copy of my biography from Darkness to Sight and uh, detailed that journey, a 20-year 20 uh, year journey in that regard. I started out by looking at these patients who suffer from injury and would like to treat them, reduce their scarring, preserving their vision. But at the same time, I realized that the only way to understand the research is using fetal tissue. Young people heal faster, better, without scar. So the book started out by the question, and but at the same time, I became a Christian already at that moment. I did not want to affect the baby because life is sacred, as the Bible says. So I, I was in that turmoil. I was struggling. And where is the solution when science and faith conflicts? And this book talks about my 20-year journey in this regard. Eventually, fortunately, I did not give up. I persisted, continued to believe that God will give us a solution to advance science without compromising our moral, ethical, faith principles. So I continue on, and we stumbled upon this amniotic membrane. It's a, a piece of a tissue that covers an unborn child. And I start transplanting, you know, this uh, placenta is donated by mother after giving birth to a child. We get the placenta donation, and we bioengineer the placenta amniotic membrane into placenta contact lenses, and then put on a uh, patient's eyes to help heal the eye. So after the placenta membrane is removed, we see an eye that can heal without scar, just like a baby. So this is this is the answer in a sense. I mean, mm -hmm. you don't have to, you you can, you don't have to violate Christian principles. Mm -hmm. here. Again, yes. you can you can do what is right mm -hmm. and not violate these, not harm a, a, yes. a newborn. I yes. mean, that that would be unacceptable. Yes. So there is a way here. There's yes. an answer. Yes. It, and and some could say it's provided by science, provided by education. Others could say it's provided by God, I guess. Yes, I believe we say it's research. I research is re-search. Research was God's original creation. God gave us the opportunity to uh, discover his, part of his original creation. In this case, the amnion membrane, we did not create this placenta. God has it there all along. But so the faith play a part that the persistence, the tenacity, don't give up truthfully believe God will have a solution for us to advance science without compromising our moral ethical principles. And the science at the same time give us that tool. So it is the combination of science and faith will make us more powerful human beings. It's like one plus one more than two, not equal to more than two. So this amniotic membrane contact lens now is available now after 20 years of research that I talk about in my biography from darkness to sight. And now it's available, it's been used by over 1,000 surgeons worldwide. And the countless number of patients have their sight restored with the placenta amniotic membrane contact. So the two can coexist. Science can coexist, faith. yes. And so when you hear someone reject the Big Bang Theory because they are, um, they are Christian, can, can, in your opinion, can those two coexist? Could, in other words, could God be responsible for the big for the for the Big Bang that created the world? Is it either or, or, or do you think there is more of a there is some common ground here? Yes. 
I truly believe in common ground. For example, one of the biggest debate is creation versus evolution. And, uh, you know, the, the two camps are very polarized. If you believe in uh, evolution, you don't believe anything in creation or vice versa the other way. And I think so human society can be more further progressed, not by polarization, but by depolarization or coming together to identify the common ground. It's almost like our political system in this country. The Democratic and Republican Party just want to, like, eye staring contest. Who, who blinks? You know, they'd rather shut down the whole government rather than give out any territory politically. So that's not healthy. But the better way of living is to recognize these two viewpoints, the science and faith, recognize they are the coins, the two different sides of the same coin. Science is about what things are, faith is about why things are. In this case, I do believe that, that creation sets in motion, God sets in motion uh, the creation of uh, human beings and all these different species. But at the same time, God gives us the opportunity to make decisions. We can make good or bad decisions. And so we do have some sense of control in our lives. We are responsible for our own behavior. In that case, a species adapt to the environment to survive. So in a way, the evolution sets in motion, but evolution, uh, the creation sets in motion, but evolution, they adapt species in a more local scale. So both can exist. Both can exist. So when you talk to another scientist um, who says, nope, don't believe in religion, that's not for me, it, in fact, it's just uh, wrong. What, what, what kind of conversation do you have? Do you have those kind of conversations? Yes. Do you encounter All the time. people of that view? What, yes. what, what happens? I give a lecture called Faith on Science, Friends or Foes. And uh, I particularly enjoy lecturing to you know um, secular schools and professors and students who are not necess necessarily Christians. I particularly love to talk about my Christian faith in front of folks with other beliefs. I do believe that world is increasing diverse world that we do all need to respect the way everybody says it, rather than imposing our own viewpoints. So I love those challenges. And for example, scientists and doctors and engineers and mathematicians, after hearing my lecture, always raise that question, say, you know, why uh, I, can be a, I could be just a good scientist or mathematician without knowing uh, Jesus Christ? And my answer is, as I said early, a, a good mathematician, but you can be a great one, that if you incorporate the purpose of life, the intuition, the imagination, the emotion, the intangibles. Faith offers those intangibles, or science offers the tangibles. It is the combination of the two make you a better human being. Just like you cannot just work with your left brain, you know, or you can work with just your right brain. The one's logic, one's mathematical, uh, one is artistic, but it is the combining the two. The left and right work together, make you a better human being. Make you a better human being, and it makes you happier. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and that's, that's often, that's been proven. Yes. I want to thank you, Dr. Ming Wang, thank you for being with us. You're Very welcome. interesting discussion. Thank I want to thank all of you for watching Issues of Faith. Have a great day, everybody.